Hey Rocketeers, this is Rocky here. And last time, uh, my last video, I mentioned uh, how I was going to show you how to get low cost bids for AdMob. Um, if you haven't watched that other video, AdMob is Google's adver or mobile advertising platform um, that's very widely used. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to show you how to create an a, uh, advertising campaign today. Um, right now I'm logged into the AdMob interface so you will have to have registered you can watch my previous video to find out how to register uh, and that after that point then you can log in and uh, get to this interface that you see here so let's get started from the new campaigns uh, page I'm going to click on create new ad campaign and it brings us to our second page where we will fill out our campaign information. Of course, first of all, it's going to have to have a name. So I'm just going to call this Test Ad Campaign. Um, below that, you have the start date. Now, by default, it will start immediately as soon as it is approved. Um, but you can schedule things ahead of time. You can schedule them out months ahead of time and start on specific dates and times as well as end on specific uh, dates and times. Now your daily budget, this is the maximum amount that you want to spend per day for your advertising campaign. Now the minimum you can see right here is ten dollars and I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the ten dollar minimum right now after that we have our delivery method and we have two types of delivery methods we have the standard and accelerated the standard uh, method just has your ads come out uh, a along with other advertisements that are using the ad mod ad mob platform and the other one is accelerated where you're pretty much the only advertisement that shows up until you have expended your daily budget and then down in the cam campaign note you can leave a little reminder for yourself of exactly what you are advertising with this campaign uh, that goes beyond what you have put for the title or the name of the campaign so once you have filled out this page you can go to the bottom and click save and continue okay the second page is the ad group goal and this lets you determine what type of advertisement or what type of uh, item you will be advertising using the ad mob platform and you have four choices but for this uh, example here we're just going to use the basic website so go ahead and click on the website it'll give a nice uh, check mark right there and it fills out the, the ad group name you can change this however I'm just going to leave it at, at the, the default and before we continue I want you to take notice to the sidebar over here as we go along for each step this gives a summary of what we have provided for each step so let's go ahead and click and continue uh, step three is targeting and this is really the guts of our advertisement who are we going to target this advertisement for now if we just leave this completely untouched it's going to be advertised to anybody who is publishing the uh, ad mob advertisements um, which means pretty much anywhere in the world now you may not want to be advertising you know, to everyone out there um, it'll get you a lot of clicks and in a hurry um, however you probably want to have something more targeted so you have a higher conversion rate so let's get down into actually targeting and our first one is platforms and devices this allows you to target the actual mobile device that your advertisement will show up on now default is targeting all devices however what I like to do is target both Android and iPhone uh, mobile devices and the reason because I want to target those two specifically is because this is going to be the market share that is going to spend money through their mobile device these are going to be the more tech savvy people these are going to be the people who can afford to spend money 
uh, well, they're spending money already for the mobile device and the services provided so that they are probably going to be a better market in order to make a conversion on a sale. So again, that's Android and iPhone. Uh, next part is going down to the geography. Uh, geography and operators. Now, the f first of all, it, all geographic locations means pretty much all of the world. Um, so, but that means there's a lot of different languages to cover there, and if you're only advertising in English, for example, um, you're go probably going to get a lot of uh, clicks and misses uh, by doing that. So, what I like to do is target the areas that, well, if it's English, you want to target the areas that, areas that are English speaking. So we can include North America and probably Western Europe. And let's take a look over here at our minimum bid. We see that it's up clear up to a quarter now. That means you spend a dollar for only four clicks. That's pretty expensive. If you saw before, we were at a penny per click when we included the entire world, when we were not targeting at all. So we need to go back through here and optimize this to bring our click down. So let's uncheck both North America and Western Europe, and you'll see we're, we're down to three cents. It went up to three cents when we chose our mobile devices. Anyways, let's go down and let's select just the United States. Now you can see it's only a nickel to advertise in the United States on the mobile devices Android and iPhone. So right now that's that's a pretty good deal. That's 20 clicks per dollar. Um, much more manageable than four clicks per dollar. And if that's you know your uh, $10 minimum a day, that's going to be 200 clicks that you can get uh, for your $10 spend uh, maximum daily budget. So that's how we target our geographic locations. Now operators, I usually use the same. Uh, all traffic including Wi-Fi traffic, uh, that's really going to be one and the same when it comes to people who will click. Now demographics you can customize if you want to target specific genders you can do do male users only or female users only and you can also specify your age range so let's go ahead and just leave that at all genders and all age groups our minimum bid is still only a nickel and uh, but our default bid is 26 cents this is the recommended bid by AdMob and usually they're going to give you something that's in the middle of between the lowest bid and the highest bid. However, I'm going to, going to tell you to go ahead and just put it at the minimum bid. And the reason why I say that is because there are so many mobile users out there that the you're, you're pretty much limitless on the dis number of displays or the number of impressions that an advertiser can advertisement can receive and so just by leaving this at a nickel you are still going to have your advertisement shown and it's going to be shown quite a bit and pretty quickly um, like I said there are just so many uh, mobile users out there who are surfing so much um, that your advertisement is definitely going to show up okay well we've got this all set up we've we've targeted to the iPhone and Android operating systems within the United States uh, for all ages and all uh, genders. So let's go ahead and continue. Okay, step four is to choose your creative advertisement. And you have two choices. Uh, you have text and tile advertising, which is a text link with an icon. Uh, and then you also have image ads. In this example, I'm just going to use the text and tile method. So I'm going to go ahead and check mark that. You'll see below that it wants us to provide our advertisement information. The ad name, this is just, this is not the display information. This is so that you can manage the advertisement. So we can just call this test ad one, for example. And our URL can be example dot com 
Okay, so we've filled out our basic information. We want our ad name for our, our management purposes and then the URL uh, for where we want the advertisement to go to and the URL to d be displayed. Uh, usually if you have a long URL as the URL that you're going to have user or advertisement uh, clickers uh, to go to, um, you can just leave the top level domain as your display URL and that'll be fine. In the creative area this is where we provide the actual information for the advertisement. The ad text is going to be your call to action uh, so what we need to do is we need to tell them uh, what action needs to take place uh, in order to receive information or what it, you want them to uh, do in order to get uh, the certain thing that you're offering. So I like to start mine with touch here. Uh, since they are on a mobile device, uh, using the terms touch here versus clicking uh, is going to be more relevant, um, unless they're using a stylus of course, but I don't think that really matters. Um, so touch here, um, we can say touch here to make money if you're trying to uh, push a money-making uh, campaign. Now the tile image, you have two choices. You have the standard image tile and the custom image tile. You can hit a drop-down for their standard and they have uh, different examples that you can use. And then the custom image allows you to upload your own and you would just click on choose file and uh, it would load those. And there are two different ones you have to pay attention to. You have the smartphone tile, which is 38 by 38, and you have the iPad tile that is 72 by 72. And once you have filled those out, those are fine. I'm just going to leave this as the standard image in this example. Um, so now we've pretty much got the ad completely finished. Uh, you can go down to the bottom and you'll see that your advertisement or your your bid is still five cents um, and over here on the sidebar everything is filled out it gives the name of your ad the text the URL that that'll lead to and how much you're paying per bid and when you're done you can either create another ad uh, right away or you can finish your ad uh, which will then we'll go ahead and click create ad and finished you'll see right here um, is green light but it's a pending approval now um, you can continue to make changes to this but it will be set back in the queue um, otherwise you can pause it right away uh, if you do pause it what happens is it's still pending ha however it will not run until you press run um, so that you're not caught off guard when it is approved and I suggest doing that too because you might want to if you have it set to go immediately you might have decided to make some changes to it or you're if you're not confident in it yet um, go ahead and pause it it's still approved you can make changes to it um, but it will go back into that pending a process as soon as you um, have made those changes and of course um, if you do not like the advertisement that you've created, uh, you can simply click delete and it will want to confirm. Go ahead and confirm and it's gone. So that is how you create an advertisement on AdMob and again by targeting specific geographic locations you can greatly decrease the amount uh, that you're paying per bid. Um, if you're keeping it very broad, uh, if you're including the entire world, you can get a penny, but of course you're not going to have very targeted results. And uh, But don't be afraid to go into certain areas, look at the bid, um, and in a lot of cases you can get a very low cost bid. So again, my name is Rocket. Um, you could subscribe to my email list below. Um, you can also check out my website at rocketriches.com. Uh, so, see you next time.